So when I think of music in space, outer space, one of the things that comes to my mind is Close Encounters of the Third Kind, the Steven Spielberg movie where the benevolent aliens and humans essentially use the language of music to communicate with each other. I also think of that Canadian space agency astronaut who recorded a version of David Bowie's song, Space Oddity, and recorded a video for it on the International Space Station in 2013. The video was posted on YouTube and went viral, and Bowie himself stated that he thought it was possibly the most poignant version of that song ever created. Another famous story is that of the Voyager probes, a sort of time capsule launched by NASA in 1977 that was intended to communicate a story of the world of humans on Earth to any interplanetary civilization out there. These time capsules were records featuring spoken word greetings in 59 languages, sound recordings of locations and other things on Earth, and a 90-minute selection of music from many cultures, one of which was Chuck Berry's Johnny Be Good. In fact, if you'd like to know more about the Voyager mission, there's a fascinating documentary about it called The Farthest, which was directed by Emma Reynolds, whom I actually interviewed in my hometown of Galway, Ireland, uh, when she premiered the doc there at the Galway Film Flat in 2018. Interesting to note that Chuck Berry had died just a few weeks before then. And uh, then, of course, there's the whole thing about the sound of planets. Now, apparently, the Earth and each of the planets of the solar system revolving around the Sun make a musical note so low that it cannot be heard by human ear. Okay, so sound doesn't travel through space, as far as I know, which would explain the famous tagline from Alien, in space, no one can hear you scream. But NASA has used powerful radio telescopes that can pick up the electromagnetic signals coming from the planets, especially the active ones like Jupiter, and converted them to sound for the human ears. For example, this is what Jupiter sounds like. Well, that was Jupiter, and this is what Neptune sounds like. Now, see, if you're a particularly musical person, you'll probably notice that they're essentially two different notes. Isn't that wild? I think I would describe those sounds as haunting and a bit eerie, unlike this song. <laughs> 